It's less than 25 days before the opening season for the Clemson Tigers baseball team. I speak exclusively with Monty Lee, the head baseball coach at Clemson, for this edition of Quentin's Close-Ups. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and like Quentin's Close-Ups on Facebook. Coach Monty Lee, welcome back to the award-winning Quentin's Close-Ups. It's good to see you, my friend. Likewise. It, it, yeah, you know, uh, it's 25 days before, obviously, opening day for the Clemson baseball team. You are the head baseball coach. Who is Coach Monty Lee these days? Well, um, I would say, um, you know, now that I'm in my sixth year here, here at Clemson, uh, time certainly flies. Uh, spent, uh, you know, seven wonderful years at the College of Charleston and was an assistant eight years before that. So I would say, who is Monty Lee now? I'm, I'm, I'm probably a, a little more uh, laid back, uh, not, not quite as intense a, as I was in my earlier days as a coach. Um, maybe a little older and a little wiser. Um, my, my players would tell me I'm probably getting a little soft on them as I get older. Um, but I think that's in a good way. I'm probably a little more understanding. I'm, I'm much more, um, try to be a little more relationship driven, uh, and not results driven so much, you know, with, with the players, um, a little more interested in the journey along the way than the end result. I think as a as a young coach, you you get you worry so much about the end result, just winning, 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 and um, and I and I still we still care about winning. You know, we still we're still competing and trying to win championships. But I think the journey along the way, just enjoying that process a little bit more with the players and trying to be a little a little more meaningful with relationships and just slowing down a little bit is a little more important to me now than than maybe it was in the past. And what results have you gotten from the relationships that you have formed at Clemson? Oh, well, I mean, our results have been have been great. I mean, we've had, uh, you know, I guess I guess you would say five, you know, kind of four seasons last year. We only got to play 17 games with with COVID, but we've certainly had some success. Uh, we haven't gotten to where we where we want to be ultimately, which is the College World Series in Omaha at the end of the year. But we've been in the postseason every year that we've been eligible. Uh, we've hosted three uh, three regionals out of four years. We just got to find a way to win a regional in advance. But uh, we've had some success. We've had wonderful kids come through the program, and um, and we've got a great group of kids this year. And just very very excited to get to Friday when we can actually start full team practice. As a matter of fact, let me rewind time to the fall practice season because you said this quote, I'm very excited about starting the fall practice campaign for our guys. Overall, it's been a good, a good preseason for our guys. We're just excited to play baseball. How did you all start that fall practice in the midst of COVID? Well, we, we definitely have a, a lot of very strict uh, protocols uh, that, you know, and, and it starts at the, uh, at the state government level with CDC. The CDC puts out guidelines uh, for all of the schools uh, under their umbrella in our state to follow. And then our sports medicine folks uh, go over those guidelines with us as coaches and with the players to make sure that we are all following the guidelines and that we're accountable for the uh, for what we're doing to keep our players safe and to keep us safe. So a lot of social distancing going on. Mass wearing uh, is critical for our guys, we, we test our guys. We're now testing our guys twice a week. In the fall, we tested once a week. Uh, we, we're not using the locker room. We didn't use the player lounge. Our guys literally would show up to the field, practice, and leave mm. uh, just to try to minimize the spread of the virus um, with bringing guys inside in a closed area. We did not have one team meeting. You know, all, anytime we had to speak to the team, it was outside where the guys were spread out. Again, just trying to make sure that uh, that we did everything in our power as coaches to educate our guys to keep them safe, but you know, just following very, very stringent uh, safety protocols throughout the fall, and uh, and and uh, and it and it worked pretty good. Uh, our guys did a great job of of adjusting, but it's it's a constant adjustment. Um, you know, just trying to remind guys: make sure your masks are on in the dugout. Uh, make sure you're washing your hands constantly and using hand sanitizer and and just all those different safety measures. It's um, they're still kids, you know. They're 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 gonna they're gonna do what they do, and it's our job as coaches and uh, to make sure that they're that they're towing towing the line, so to speak, with with all of that. But uh, it has been a challenge. 
Yes, sir. And speaking of adjustments, let me ask you this. How aggressive have you been in scheduling your particular baseball season? Well, we have an incredibly aggressive schedule. This may be the hardest schedule I've ever been a part of. In 14 weekends, uh, the ACC decided that we were going to play 12 ACC weekends. So 12 of our 14 weekends are against ACC opponents. Um, you know, there's as many as seven teams in our league ranked in the preseason top 25. Uh, so we also are playing the Gamecocks in week two. They're in, the, they're in every major poll uh, in the top 20. Mark Kingston's got a great club on his hands this year. Uh, so 13 out of, you know, the 14 weekends, that's what we've got. And then opening weekend, we have the University of Cincinnati, who, um, you know, has got a great club. Uh, they were in the postseason very recently, too. So, uh, and our midweek games are very, very challenging as well. We, we take a lot of pride in playing a lot of schools from out of state. And uh, those are going to be quite, quite challenging as well. So, we've got our hands full in, in terms of our schedule. And I believe, if I'm not correct, if I'm correct, I know I'm sitting right here at the College of Charleston, but how do you position yourself to win against your old school? We just got to play good baseball. They, uh, you know, we've we've played the uh, played the Cougars quite a few times uh, since I've been here. I believe every year uh, that I've been here at Clemson, we've played the College of Charleston, and we've won some, and and we've gotten thumped a couple times too. So, uh, uh, you know, I love my alma mater. Uh, I love the College of Charleston, um, and uh, I pull for them all year long. Uh, so um, it, it still is tough playing them. I can tell you that. Um, you know, once the game gets going, right. it's between the kids at that point. Uh, but it, it's it's always a little bit different playing the College of Charleston, and it's simply because um, I love the school so much and I love the program so, so much. It's a very, very uh, special place to me. But we are playing the Cougars again this year. I know Coach Holbrook yes. and his staff have put together a great team again, and uh, uh, it'll be a heck of a test when we when we get a chance to play them. And I'm hoping to interview him again. Well, actually, we will schedule to interview him again in March for Quintus Quilsos. But what flexibility have you had to prepare for for this upcoming season? Well, we've been we've been practicing pretty hard uh, in smaller groups um, up until this week. This week, uh, starting on Friday, we can go into full team practice. So mo most of our work uh, as of now uh, has been in small increments of time, an hour at a time, about four days a week. We go four hours field a week uh, now and then that will ramp up uh, to 20 hours starting on Friday so right now our guys are doing four hours of baseball activity a week with, with three weight room sessions um, and a couple of uh, conditioning sessions with our strength staff uh, so that's going to ramp up uh, quite a good bit starting on Friday but our guys are in good shape and uh, we're ready to go. And I know uh, on, min on momentum, that is, you said this last year quickly. I do get the sense from my older guys that last year was very valuable for them in terms of getting off to a great start and winning all of those one-run games. In regards to those one-run games, uh, Coach, what were those run distribution patterns? Well, you know, what it what it does for a club, you know, we were 14-3 and three before the season ended. We had six one-run games. So when you think about that, uh, you know, a lot of the games that we played last year could have went either way, and we found a way to win them. It just showed the toughness and the competitive fire that our guys have, how hard they compete, how selfless they are. Uh, so that's a big signature of our program is our, our toughness and ability and ability to win in those high-pressure situations, and our guys did a great job of that last year, and we returned – uh, an awful lot of guys off of last year's team. So hopefully that's a trait and a characteristic that will carry over into this year uh, for this team. Coach Monty Lee, thank you so much for your time. And again, welcome back to the award-winning Quentin's Close-Ups. Thank you for having me, Quentin. It's great to see you again. Likewise.